All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, we're going to do another whipping chat here with Diamond Heart Clubs, Hogwarts Crest, Fine Oddities Black. All right. All right, square drill, 22 inches by 26 inches, 56 centimeters by 66 centimeters. Holy cow. Okay. 42 colors, including four AABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis. They're an iridescent coated type of drill that shines a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under 150 color code or DMC code is considered considered an AB from Diamond Art Club. All right, how's it going? Hopefully all is well. All right, just down to 310 on this strip and then well, you move up to the next row. <laughs> I just really gave it yesterday. <laughs> just got her done yesterday. This was quite the section. I just kept going. Mm. Oh, of course, I got a bit more reading done. On the treadmill. I got my step zone. We're good. But yeah. <laughs> uh, dig quite a bit of recording yesterday, but that's okay. I just wanted to hang out. Give this section a good go. So yeah. Hopefully your crafting and other endeavors are going well. Yeah, it's just basically a 310 for the time being. I'll just see how fast this fills in. It's just basically this right hand side here. Another beautiful sunny day. Yeah, I guess at some point I should uh, probably get clumping cat litter. And pet store did open up in town. Uh, pet value or whatever it's called. So I have a chance to just get pet supplies in town still, instead of driving around to, to the ends of the earth just to have cat litter and cat food. <laughs> so see how it goes. Good shopping for me is know what I need, get it, leave. <laughs> I'll have to look around for hours for this kind of stuff. Cat needs to eat, and cat needs to use the litter box, so... Just covering the basics for Axel here. Mm. I want to be uh, fiddling around too much with my cat's routine. Just, yeah. Keeping the status quo, keeping them somewhat happy because <laughs> he knows where I sleep so there you go <laughs> if he ever sleeps on my bed while I'm in it I cannot be sure meow here's the odd time or another where he goes up for a couple minutes at the foot of the bed and chills, but I think he just turns around and leaves again. Probably like sleeps upstairs or something during the night. Or he's wandering around uh, one or the other. Uh, so my dad goes to bed by 11. Like, yeah. 11 at night, so... I don't know. You might hear background equipment, sanding and stuff, but yeah. <laughs> Basically washing my bedding today. So I got it in the dryer before I started recording. Now, my parents have an app. A washer and dryer to like notify you when it's done or when the cycle is started. That kind of thing. I don't 
<laughs> so I just kind of went down and checked. So I just kind of started the bedding on my own. S started the wash cycle. <laughs> they know that it started, but yeah. Yeah, gotta love fitted sheets. Like, I struggle to put the fitted sheet on my bed. <laughs> there are times where the elastic is just like let go on the corner and just like bunched up on itself. It's like, really? <laughs> I just had to have the fitted sheets, the pillowcases, and a comforter. Yeah, uh, don't go too crazy with my sleep system. It's just, yeah. <laughs> but, man, how do you, like, put a fitted sheet on? I do it right some of the time, and then other times it's like, the heck, why isn't it just staying on the mattress? I just don't know sometimes. It's a little scary. Yeah, the only neat thing on my bed is like the fitted sheet, like to cover the mattress. That's about it. Like the comforter just gets tossed aside. Like it's just me sleeping on the bed. Like, I don't worry too much about that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Sure, if someone else is in the bed, yeah, probably make it. It would develop into a habit. Yeah. It, but, yeah, it's just me. <laughs> Not too uh, wrapped up about it. <laughs> right. So, for three ten, as usual, I'm just doing small, manageable sections, filling them in, and then over a uh, period of time just filling in the larger section of the main section. Yeah, I think some people are just horrified of 310, just large sections of it. I've done 310. Yeah, I've done a Mandy Manzano canvas. Uh, it was Helsa. It was Ice Princess or something. Yeah, Elsa from Frozen, but her version. Yeah, there were. Uh, lines of 310. I kind of... How did I do that? I do the 310 first or something. The outlines. Her uh, canvases are really famous for having outlines. I think I have the Shepherd's Cottage. That's a Mandy Manzano too. It's a setting. Sun setting. has various colors in it and it has that stained glass look to it yeah I think I have the shepherd's cottage so similar stained glass style
Yeah, I think there's a couple of canvases like that have been released by DAC recently that have three tennis the background. <laughs> this this is one of them. Uh, I think there was like a dragon with some skulls, if I'm thinking correctly. There, there's it's a massive background of 310. 310 being black in a DMC or color code language. That's why a couple of my titles might say 310. <laughs> yeah, black. <laughs> yeah, that. Uh, yeah, of course, three. Just seeing a canvas surrounded where the background is like solid 310. Yeah, horrifying. Of course, that's a given. But it is manageable. It is doable if you just break it down like don't look at the canvas as a whole just kind of divide it up and just focus on bits of the 310 you'll finish it over time while doing the rest of the canvas so that's why I section off. Not with washi tape or anything, just like a kind of eyeball it. Just make rectangular sections that would fit in the view of the camera, basically. That's how I do it for YouTube here. For Echoes of Color here. Larger sections than probably some other diamond painters do, but yeah, like a good hardy section. I'd be taking progress pictures a little more constantly than uh, doing smaller sections than if I were doing uh, these large rectangular sections. Kind of better in a way. Yeah, social media is great, like to show progress diamond painting, like don't get me wrong. and. Smaller sections are great. Yeah, we all have different schedules and stuff, and different times where we can just sit at the, sit in front of our canvas and like, do a hobby in general. Yeah, that's fine. It's down to what you individually can manage, or would like to do, or are comfortable with, while diamond painting. Some people might just uh, go all over the place on the canvas here. Smaller sections, even smaller square sections. And just pick and choose. Do a colorful section one day and then do like an edge the next day. But yeah, it's all different, but we still get to the same end point, which is the important part. Nah, kind of nice in a way. Uh, yeah, I want to do a little bit more of a color congested section, like a confetti heavy section one day. And then, yeah, I have time to just to do a couple colors. And the canvas still gets completed as you go. So, Or maybe it's a do a section a day kind of thing. So a small section would just make it manageable and you can still do other things while still saying you've diamond painted. So yeah, tons of workarounds when it comes to diamond painting. So yeah, that's what makes it a really flexible craft and I'm sure other hobbies kind of address those needs as well for schedule and just time. Okay, so that's that section. I want to move up. Put this 310 away. Whoa. 
Hang on to that plug on. The Diamond Art Club trays are actually pretty nice. This is the first tray I've seen with a stopper, but I'm pretty sure there have been trays with stoppers before DAC came out with these new ones. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there were a thing before, but it's all good. Kind of nice, actually, because, yeah, I have upset my diamond painting tray a couple times. And spell drills. <laughs> Who hasn't? Alright. Just going to move up a bit, I guess. I have to adjust the canvas, so bear with me. I'm gonna have to take a picture of that just roughly. Okay. So yeah, sorry about that. Just had to slowly adjust. I have to move that canvas down again to take a progress photo. It's okay. Alright. So, this row, yeah, Hogwarts is like up here, the word Hogwarts. So, I'm probably just going to use the edge of the letters as a cap for the top to go along this row. And then just use Hogwarts, like the bottom of Hogwarts to kind of establish the bottom. Well, it'll be separated by then, but then the rest of the section along the top could, will just be... I'll still do thirds. Alright, so... Whoops. Excuse me. Alright, so probably go by the edge of the snake's tongue here. Slytherin. Yeah, so I have another colored section here. So I have a rough. I'll do another third. Yeah, I've been doing these sections in third for the canvas. Manageable. So yeah, here we go. Another section here. Okay, so this is like the top right hand corner of the crest. So it's kind of the edge of the crest here. Yeah, and then more flowers, and then 310 again on the side, and a little bit of 310 in the actual crest. So that's where we are. Just as a little visual. So, about here, yeah, around here, just that section is where I ended up. Alright. So, going by that, still on the shot. So, get a bit of the crest done, but none of the letters, I'll leave that for the top. It's just yeah, our... ah, yeah, it's hard to establish a border. Roughly, roughly. I'm pretty sure my probably F maybe. Okay. No, probably start with F. Just a guess. <laughs> All right, uh, seven eighteen. Okie dokie. All right. Yep, F's a good color to start with. There's quite a bit here. This is kind of similar to the color section that I just did below. to 
hold this canvas down a bit. Okay. So, yeah, let's try to get this corner established. Ugh, tracing up from this, yeah, just, yeah, the five here is good guide. Of course, my hand's gonna be moving. establishing boundary here yeah that's a good start not exact thirds I've never haven't done exact thirds in the canvas but that's a good place okay Yeah, just kind of eyeball it. It's all good. Don't have to be exact, but yet again, yeah, do sections that you're comfortable with. The fill in the canvas here, regardless. So I do fairly generous thirds, or have done generous thirds for this canvas. But yeah, this is one way to do a section. But yeah, you can do smaller sections, obviously. Yeah, it's okay to do something differently. <laughs> you're still getting the same result <laughs> when you're diamond painting, so no sweat. Yeah, All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I just do a very rough kind of establishment. Okay, half right, 718. Okay, start at the bottom here and just, yeah, build from there. Yeah, I'll kind of have to move the canvas again to take a picture of uh, that previous section, but all good. All right, so this is just continuing the flowers. And yep, yeah. a little bit of yeah, three ten to work with in the crest here, and just mostly that side, continuing building up the side there, and then finishing off the snake and the griffin and some leaves and stuff. in the center and then a blast of color again and then just go along the top and fill in Hogwarts to finish off the piece so yeah got a bit to go yet but we're up another row now so that's good nice Just like establishing the edge, starting at the bottom and then, yeah, kind of getting the top of a section figured out too. Just going by the colors, the symbols that are like on, along the edges. That's how I figured out how to. Yeah, kind of get a start on the corner there. Yeah, there are some other different methods too. It's like a color that catches your eye. You can start with that. Uh, some people would probably start with like the border of the crest maybe. Or get the 310 out of the way yeah there's like no wrong way to start with a color 
so yeah it's all good yeah these F's might be a little scattered again but yeah it is nice to do a good burst of color P 647. Have I touched 647? Huh. Is that a color that's just in the upper tiers here? Must be. It must be a certain kind of plant. Wow. Letter P. Haven't seen that in a while. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah. Must be like a certain flower in here. It's just here and there in the canvas. Wow, it's been a while. I think I remember pulling out 647 <laughs> recently. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, my favorite pregnant stick. Oh, I came for another visit. <laughs> Making life interesting. Yeah, that's the symbol that was giving me grief yesterday. <laughs> I think it was F and pregnant stick. <laughs> I was putting the color for pregnant stick where F was. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, adventures in diamond painting. Intense stuff, I know. I like even in view. Okay. Award winning cinematography here. Yep. <laughs> yeah, sarcasm abounds. <laughs> Alright, yeah, half is just here and there. Try to systematically get them all. <laughs> Oops. Alright, yeah, I'll just kind of go up here. Just kind of going willy nilly. <laughs> Eyes just kind of following the half symbol. Just here and there. Alright, so yeah, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile name. I Echoes of Colors, Echoes of Color Facebook business page. It's really just a website with on Facebook. Uh, my Instagram, that's basically my social media. All three, I just try to update simultaneously. If I finish this section, which I have, so I'll just post picture and then just what the canvas is and hooray to the next section. So that kind of stuff. Uh, also I'll post walking challenge URLs uh, down below in the description as well. 
those are not affiliate links they're just the websites from where I had purchased the Lord of the Rings challenge bundle from Conquer and uh, the Silk Road challenge uh, from Pacer so uh, I'm not sponsored and those are not affiliate links by either of those companies it's just uh, fitness thing I'm doing just basically walking and earning uh, walking the distances to earn metals yeah it's kind of a goal-setting fitness thing so feel free to check those out at your leisure under no obligation to make a purchase or anything like I don't earn a commission from that kind of stuff it's just there for the tickles so yeah other than that take care all the best with your crafting endeavors and i'll see you again soon bye